I'm going to forget about the Brett for now and do a different puzzle. I'm going to do the puzzle on the last page of the journal, the one about the celebratory dinner, a nine course meal. There's a display about it right here, but it looks like the menu was checked out to Leela, so let's go see Leela. Hey, what's going on? Do you think I could borrow the old menu that you borrowed from the display case in the foyer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In fact, I got it right here. I needed it for this lame nutrition paper I had to write. I keep forgetting to put it back. But before I give it to you, uh -oh. let me guess, I have to beat you at a game. Air hockey or scram? You get to pick. Um, you know, the last time I played scram, it took up the entire video, so I think I'll just skip to when I'm finished playing a game with Leela. There's the menu. Thank you. All right. Need anything else? Any idea what happened to the book of Poe stories that's missing from the library? I sure don't have it. Mel, our resident goth girl, she probably does. That freak's probably working on a way to bring him back from the dead so he can autograph it. Ow. I found this barrette outside. Is it yours? Heck no, I've never worn a barrette in my life. Yeah. What else do you want to know? Uh, nothing else. I'll check back with you later. Okie dokie. Hey, text message. They're still gossiping about me. Oh, well that's not very nice. Now, you can solve the uh, spoon puzzle, I believe, right now, but you really can't because Nancy doesn't know which spoon and which fork goes with which item on the menu. So we're going to have to look that up in the library. I mean, I don't know a lot about Victorian etiquette, do you? Etiquette. Victorian. Ah, here we go. Oh, Rachel has it. Okay. Let's talk to Rachel. It's not lost. Listen, I know you checked out a book on Victorian dining, but mm -hmm. I was wondering if I could borrow it. I'm kind of into Victorian stuff. It's awesome. Sorry, I need it for the paper I'm writing. But I'll tell you what, if you get my math notebook from Mel, I'll work on that project for a while, and you can borrow the Victorian book. Okay. I know Mel's just on the hall, but I'd rather not have to deal with her. Okay? Sure. Um... One math notebook coming up. Great. She doesn't like Mel? Well, good luck with your papers. See ya. Apparently Rachel doesn't like Mel. Okay, fine. Let's talk to Mel. Yeah? What's the word? I need to get Rachel's math notebook from you. Sure. As soon as I remember where I put it. Nuts, I left it in the library. That's alright, I can go get it. Okay. Why do you want her math notebook? Well, actually, Rachel, um, uh, she wants it, but she didn't want to ask me for it in person. Did you do something to make her mad at you? I don't treat her any differently than I treat practically everyone else around here. In other words, for the most part, I totally ignore her. I don't know what her problem is. Um, I don't know what her problem is either. I'll quit bugging you. Drop in any time. In any case, back to the library. The math notebook is inside the lost and found. Something tells me I don't see Rachel's math book anywhere because it wound up in here. Okay, so the combination to the lock is MMDC, MMDCXLI, which is Roman numerals. Here's a book on Roman numerals if you don't know what they mean. The combination is 2641. Okay, and we have the calculus notebook. 
as well as Bessus bracelet and some garden gnomes. I'm sorry, not garden gnomes, leprechauns. From Nancy Drew, Haunting of Castle Malloy. And the Bessus bracelet was from Nancy Drew, Ransom of the Seven Chips. Rachel will be glad to have her notebook back, so let's give it to her. You can come in. It's already open. You've got my math notebook. Bob, take that. What do you have against Mel? Nothing. She's one of the few girls around here I actually kind of like. But before, you said you didn't want to deal with her. Yeah. You misunderstood. I meant I didn't have time to deal with her because of these stupid papers I have to write. Anyway, the book's all yours. Go ahead and take it. Okay, that's kind of odd, but... I gotta get back to work here. I'll see you later. We've got the notebook. So that means we can solve the puzzle. Okay, so the book tells you about the various kinds of silverware. Oh hey, student ID! It tells you about the silverware and the food it goes with. We have the menu which says all of the food. And so, you need to put the two together in order to figure out which silverware goes with that meal. If the cabinet is locked, you can get the key inside the closet that's near the snack shop. Just turn on the light and you should see it on the upper shelf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I believe eight, nine, ten. There we go. There's your solution. And we get a golden ape token. Okay, a token with an ape on it. I suppose that's good to have. 